Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, let's take a tour of the new models and the new features in the version 3.0 and 3.1 firmware for the Line 6 Helix family, HX family, and HX effects. Not long ago, Line 6 updated their family of processors, including the Helix and the HX families, to version 3.0 firmware, and now they've released version 3.1 firmware. The additions include new amp models, new effects models, original effects from Line 6, and also some new features. Let's take a tour. Version 3.0 introduced a new amp model, the US Princess, which is based on a Fender Princeton. It's a great sounding tube amp model. Another new model introduced in version 3 was Das Benson Lead, a high gain lead channel from a diesel VH4. In version 3.1 there's also a new amp model, the Mandarin, which is based on an orange rocker verb 3. All three of these add nice tonal options to the Helix and the HX family. Now let's go back to the US Princess and look at some of the new effects models that have been added. Version 3 includes six new polyphonic pitch shifting effects. First up is Poly Pitch, which is a polyphonic pitch shifter. We also have a polyphonic whammy effect that you can control from an expression pedal, a polyphonic detune, and I like this one, a polyphonic capo. The polyphonic 12 string guitar simulator is very useful. Six new distortion effects were added in version 3.0 and in version 3.1. Here's the Horizon Drive, which is based on a Horizon Precision Drive. Here's the Swedish Chainsaw Drive, which is based on a heavy metal 2 pedal. The Bighorn Fuzz is based on a 1973 Big Muff. Line 6 also added a number of original new effects. This is the incredible glitch delay that sort of randomizes the delay effect. It adds pitch to it. You can reverse things. There can be shuffling going on with the different delay taps. Lots of capabilities here. It's a really creative delay tool. The Euclidean delay in version 3.1 brings mathematical algorithms to the effect. It's a multi-tap delay that allows a lot of creative possibilities. New original reverbs from Line 6 include the dynamic Hall effect. We also have the Hot Springs, which is a great sounding spring reverb. Other new effects include the Retro Reel, which is tape machine playback, analog tape machine playback with all the wow and flutter and character of an analog tape machine. We also have the Shuffling Looper and the Stereo Imager for processing your signals. So as you can see, version 3 and version 3.1 added a wide range of new tonal possibilities to the HX and the Helix families. 
But the new firmware versions also bring new features. For example, we now have a new favorites list for our models. So you can save this list of your favorite models, and when you insert those models into an effects block, they'll already have your settings and everything all ready to go. On the Helix family, including the floor, the rack, and the LT, you can now disable Path 2, which allows you to have true spillover as you're changing presets. On the HX Stop, we now have 8 effects blocks, where before we had 6. The HX Stop now has a function called Command Center, which was already available in the Helix. And basically this allows you to send out MIDI and QWERTY keyboard commands for controlling external devices. HX Native now has a tuner, as well as gain reduction meters. On the HX Stomp, we can customize foot switches as well as snapshots. This allows you to change colors and set things up to look exactly the way you want them. This was already available in the Helix family. Speaking of control capabilities, we have greatly improved MIDI functionality inside all of the HX and Helix processors. And we also now have a new Tuner Trails function. Now you wouldn't think about this function until you need it. Basically what happened before is, when you turned on the tuner on the processor, all the delay and reverb tails would stop. Now when you step on the tuner, those tails continue to ring. But a big new feature we need to talk about is the improved sound quality in all of these processors. And this results from higher oversampling. One of the most important new features is the improved sound quality in all of the Helix and HX family processors. And this results from higher oversampling. The result is more clarity, smoother sound, and less aliasing. Without getting too deep into digital theory, when a signal comes in, snapshots or samples are taken of that signal to convert it into digital. When we play the sound back or it goes out of the output, those samples are converted back into analog audio. The problem arises when a frequency is too high to be sampled accurately. In that case, a false frequency shows up inside the audio signal. It's called an alias. And it's actually similar to what happens with video. Like if you're watching a wagon wheel turn in a movie and it looks like the wheel's moving backward, that's actually aliasing. Well, a similar kind of thing can happen with audio. To eliminate that, Line 6 uses oversampling, which means that they boost the sample rate way up and it takes all those problems out of the audio range. It results in a cleaner signal, less distortion, no problems with aliasing, and a smoother sound. So there you have it, a quick tour of version 3 and 3.1 for the Helix and the HX family of processors. There's so much new stuff here, we've barely scratched the surface. We've got new amps, we've got lots of new effects, new features, improved sound quality. It's an awesome upgrade for all these processors, and it's available free of charge. If you have questions about the Line 6 Helix or HX family of processors, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or visit Sweetwater.com. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. Music